Hey guys, this is my unboxing of the Master Grade S Gundam. So, if we get close up here, we can see there's a Zeta Plus in the background with the Beam Smart Gun. And then the kit was made in 2002, so it's getting up there in years. So if we take a look at the sides, we have just a front and back view. Let me change my lighting a little bit here. Now I really love the design of this. I think uh, the XS Gundam is a bit excessive, but the S Gundam is just perfect for me. I love how much it has going on just all of the detail in it so you do get a beam smart gun I'm not sure what a support unit is it comes with wings and a tail stabilizer cockpits I think there's like three cockpits in it um, just have the sign the picture of it action pose as you can see it doesn't look like you can get too much out of it. It's just such a bulky thing. It must have been really difficult for them to get that pose. Beam sabers, marking stickers. Yeah, I don't know why they highlight some of these. Um, and then it separates into the G attacker and G bomber and the G core, which is all the cockpits and the core block. So, um, fairly expensive kit retails for 60,000 yen but it is a fairly big kit so what I miss with the older master grades is this beautiful painted insert picture I always miss these it just shows it's a nice reference for when you paint and they just do a really nice job it all looks very nice so we got a lot going on inside. So we'll go through the manual later. First off we have the V-Fin in here. Looks like we got some clear parts for the cockpit. And there's the pretty large head. That thing's fairly huge. And that huge tail stabilizer. That thing is crazy. So it's like just some inner frame parts. Next we have those huge beam cannons. Maybe some wing parts. Some parts for the arm. This looks like the, hmm, I want to say Beam Smart Gun, it should be, looks like the Beam Smart Gun, then just some, uh, this might actually be for the shoulders, I was going to say side skirts, but it looks like it might be for the shoulders. Here we've got the, um, Incoms, it looks like. Then we have the feet. Next, we have some blue bean sabers, which are always nice. Um, these are definitely for the shoulders, that shoulder detail, it looks like. <clears throat> wow. I've never seen so many screws in a Master Grade kit before. That is crazy. That is a lot of screws. That kind of has me a little worried. But other than that, um, that's definitely part of the head. It looks like just some more chest inner parts. It's kind of unfortunate though. The runners bowed a little bit. I hope it didn't affect any of the parts. 
Wow. Even more screws. Sheesh, that's a lot of screws. I'm gonna have to go through the manual and see what all those screws are used for. Looks like we got a chest part and some more wing parts. Two runners of polycap. And there's those huge shoulder pads. Next we have some leg parts. Those look like the knee armor. Maybe some parts for the backpack. I already see on the other side there's inner detail on the uh, all the parts, which is really nice on the back side. You usually only see that with newer master grades. Then finally, here are some leg inner parts. That looks like it. So get a lot of runners with this. And uh well it's only really a normal amount of runners for a master grade, but they're fairly large runners. So let's go through the instructions and see uh why we have three thousand screws. There's some fairly nice line art. Looks pretty good to me. A nice uh, picture of the head. It's even got the uh, the income coming out. It's pretty cool. It's got the separate parts that it splits into. Beam smart gun. And then the uh, G, G whatever it's called. Uh, I completely skipped over all the screws. So where are we going to have screws? Doesn't look like there's any screws in the arms. Shoulders. The shoulders have screws. Even more screws. So we got a couple screws just in the shoulders. That's kind of sad. Then this is part of the leg, I think. Got some screws in there. Then more screws in the legs. Screws in the foot. I wonder if it's just because it's such a huge kit. They filled it full of screws to make sure that it the joints stay tight that's the only thing I can think of cause yeah it's just littered with screws I've never seen so many screws in the master grade kit before it's kinda crazy now this is really interesting cause I don't see like it's not broken into sections or anything it just it keeps going and now it just boom, boom, and then you're like in the legs over here, arm and leg unit, body and head. I don't know. It's not broken up that great. But I am pretty excited about this still. It does look like it's got a lot of detail. And then there's the uh, beam smart gun, which looks like it holds on to the side skirt. And then it flips out for him to hold. Ooh, and they actually use real pictures for the transformation. That's interesting. I don't think I'll ever be transforming this, because honestly I think the transformation looks really ugly. And it just makes me kind of cry inside. But, um, it does look like a really nice kit. Just all the detail in it is very nice. So I'm pretty excited about that. Well, thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for when I do a work in progress on this someday.